All right, uh, what's going on there, guys? The Earthmaster here on the live stream uh, with an update video on this Thursday evening, uh, December 23rd, 2021, about 6.50 p.m. California time, latest quake on the globe, a 4.4 earthquake right around the Greece area. You can see that uh, located on that map right there. A little deep earthquake in this region, 35 kilometers below the surface. Looking at the rest of the map here, Shows continued movement into the North American plate here. A lot of activity ramping up here east of the Rockies as well. Seeing some movement into the Kentucky region this morning with a couple twos kicking off here along the Appalachian Mountains. A little bit of activity around the New Madrid zone as well with a 2.4 near Tiptonville, Tennessee. That earthquake pretty shallow at four kilometers. Looking at the movement here along the West Coast, there's the activity kind of still kicking up. Uh, within the last hour, things have kind of calmed down here along the Northern California coastline, but uh, some deeper movement still over the last 24 hours around the Eureka area. We have seen some activity ramp up throughout the Ridgecrest region. Still pretty quiet up here along the Long Valley Supervolcano and the Antelope Valley regions. Not a whole lot of movement. Uh, but down south here, still watching a little swarm of activity around the Palomar Observatory, Palomar Mountain, looks pretty significant. Uh, this site right here is the uh, site that's located right there at that mountain. It's the, uh, well, it's a uh, astronomical research obser observatory in uh, San Diego County, right there in the Palomar, uh, Palomar Mountain Range. It is owned and operated by Caltech. Hmm, right smack dab on the mountain. And right beneath this place here is where all this earthquake activity is kind of ramping up here. Seems a little odd. There is the Ellensnora Fault that sits over here to the west. And also looking at uh, this other fault system, there's the San Felipe uh, Fault Zone that kind of runs over here to the east of the uh, Palomar Mountain region where this earthquake swarm is kicking up here. So just kind of kind of odd. They, they do have some earthquake activity over time. I look back and uh, did a little bit of historical... Uh, looking into this activity and uh, they've definitely had some movement over the past few years I just find it kind of odd there definitely centered within this region <clears throat> the depth of these earthquakes uh, roughly about five to six kilometers at a consistent level nothing significant yet just a few microquakes 3.2 looks to be the largest in this little sequence of activity around the observatory in southern california which is closed by the way uh, down here in the Salton Sea, a little bit of movement around the San Jacinto Fault Zone, the Superstition Hill section down south. A couple of microquakes there. Over here along the San Andreas Fault Zone, things pretty quiet. Not a whole lot of activity to report along this major plate boundary. Uh, throughout the Intermountain West and Nevada area, looking at uh, a little bit of movement out here north of Tonopah, around the Pyramid Lake area. And also up here around the Cedar, Utah region, seeing some activity. We've really seen a uh, pretty good uptick in movement up here in Idaho, though, over the last 24 hours around the Sawtooth Fault System. Of course, this activity uh, consistent with aftershock sequences following that six-pointer they had up here oh, over a year ago now. That activity kind of comes and goes, which is typical. Uh, when everything's being adjusted and moved around here with these plates up here around the Yellowstone region not a whole lot to talk about here looks like maybe a little little spike of a quake a 1.0 near Mammoth it looks like let's go ahead and check out the Yellowstone uh, seismograph stations there things look pretty pretty calm pretty mellow right now at that uh, super volcano not a whole lot uh, going on there check out the I'm trying to get through this video I'm still kind of sick folks it comes and goes I just uh, come back from storm chasing here today in a 2% tornado risk here in Northern California seen a little bit of rotation a little bit of wall cloud activity uh, but then nighttime hit and uh, we lost all our, our all of our convective heating to get these storms brewing up so unsuccessful day when it comes to uh, tornadic activity here but Kind of cool, nonetheless, getting out of the house. Uh, some movement into the subduction zone here along the Aleutian Trench once again. Areas to the west as well. A little bit of activity ramping up here. 
uh, outside of the uh, islands here. Kind of shallow movement up here to the north. Down south here, a little bit of activity too, but a little bit deeper. 2.7 into that subduction zone. Japan Trench remains relatively quiet. A little bit of activity there where that phantom earthquake occurred a couple days ago. That, uh, what was that, that eight-pointer that struck within this region? Ended up being a glitch. 4.4 uh, at 44.7 kilometers. A whole lot of fours in those sequence of numbers there. The Philippine Plate areas to the uh, west there as well. Pretty quiet through the South China Sea. In fact, things looking pretty quiet uh, everywhere for the most part here along the entire western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Uh, let's see, Indonesia, a little bit of activity up through here. Just outside of the uh, Nicobar Islands. India region, 10 kilometers for a 5.2. A little bit of activity up here around the Afghanistan area as well. <clears throat> There's that movement that was on the globe. Uh, see if I can get through this. I think I need a hot, steamy shower to help clear out my system. Not good. Uh, let's see what we got. A couple fours there. There's all the fours. Look at that. Significance in numbers. And the four is the uh, significant number today. Lots of fours throughout the Greece region and into the area around Italy where they had a 4.3 earthquake occur earlier 11.9 kilometers below the surface around Iceland area southward through the South Atlantic Ocean South Sandwich Islands pretty quiet as well all clear through this region looks like South America uh, quieting down as well this here kind of looking at all this quiet activity throughout the entire western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire lack of activity here and now renewed movement up here along the Oregon coast or the uh, Northern California coast makes me um, think that this area right here is about ready to amp up a little bit. Uh, just all too quiet along the entire uh, Pacific plate. But the red circle there indicating an earthquake here within the last hour, uh, actually just a couple minutes ago, um, a 2.2 in the Petrolia area. Of course, this is that area where they've seen that 6.2 earthquake over here on this side. This deeper movement is continuing. That's a little bit more shallower earthquake than what we've seen. Uh, looking at my earthquake rock, of course, nothing moving yet. But uh, that thing was swinging back and forth a little bit when we had that 6.2 a couple days ago here in Northern California. So be on guard here along the West Coast with uh, possible renewed activity. Uh, what do we got in the Big Island? Some some activity outside of your normal, typical southeast flank region. A little bit of activity around the Lohi Seamount with a 2.3. Also up here in an area where we don't see a whole lot of earthquake activity. Get a little swarm of movement in this region right here. Uh, 7.3 kilometers for a pair of twos. Uh, let's see what else we got. Trimmer map. We checked the trimmer earlier. It should be upgraded now. Updated. Yep. Zero trimmers. <clears throat> kind of odd. It has died down over the past couple nights consistently uh, from the uptick that we've seen here right, uh, right about the time when that 6.2 kicked up along the northern California coastline. But today, zero epicenter is being recorded along the Cascadia subduction zone. Take a look at the Earthquakes Canada map here. Until here up on this uh, map here, a little bit of movement up into the northern part of the uh, Cascadia, it looks like. Let's go ahead and check out the plate boundaries and get the legend up here. Latest quake is going to be in this purple circle up here, actually well north of the Cascadia. Looks like this is just off the uh, uh, Pacific and the, or the uh, Pacific and North American plate boundary. Little earthquake striking within this region. Nothing big. Looks like a little microquake of 1.8. Uh, 55 kilometers south of a village of Queen Charlotte, BC area. Down here along the southern end of the Cascadia, things have been uh, pretty quiet, or at least the northern end of the Cascadia, pretty quiet as well over the last week. Just a little bit of movement. Of course, this activity kicked up last week, uh, today. And. Uh, not, not a whole lot going on here today within the last week. Yes, we did see some further movement here outside of the Cascadia, kind of on the Pacific side, but uh, not a whole lot going on there on this map tonight. Uh, let's see here. Alaska region. 
We did check that out. I'm just kind of looking at the 2.5 map and above. Some movement kicking up outside of Anchorage. But other than that, the microquakes uh, kind of dwindling down around this region. But uh, definitely something to watch along this side of the plate. As I've always uh, noticed a little trend when this area goes awfully quiet here. Uh, the eastern Pacific and up here in Alaska tend to kick up really... Uh, really significantly there's a trail of movement here through the Gulf Coast or the uh, Gulf of California up through Texas stretching up that way probably just a coincidence but uh, on the map very visible and we've seen it actually quite a few times let's see if we can pull up the uh, 30 days 2.5 and above there's that little line of activity that kind of stretches here within this region but then again we can make animals out of clouds right so it's possible uh, it's it's possible that uh, it's just a coincidence there. All right, what else we got uh, going on here on the map? Solar weather activity remains somewhat elevated. Let's go ahead and check this out from the solarham.net website. Last flare, significant flare anyway, within the 48 hours. Was that uh, M1.3 since then? We've seen some sea flare activity. Looks like another sea flare recently kicking up. 99% uh, chance of a C flare. That's obvious, right? 10% uh, chance of a X flare still can still uh, still in the forecast. The three-day geomagnetic storming looks like uh, potential for high latitude high latitude storming tonight. Watch that aurora uh, forecast. Deepening of the colors, warming of the color colors, indicating the uh, higher uh, probability of the auroras. Right now, kind of minimal there at the higher latitudes. Sunspot, sunspot activity. Let's go ahead and check out the numbered sunspots here. And this is pretty significant. There's a lot on there. This trail of sunspots that was facing Earth is now uh, kind of decaying and headed away from us. But we're looking at some further uh, stronger flares up here on the northern hemisphere and the southern part here too. 2916 looks pretty nice. Uh, but either way, there's definitely a lot of sunspots on, this, uh, on the, uh, the sun right now. That one's kind of ramping up pretty good, but uh, we'll pay it. We'll we'll be watching this here over the next couple days as these things kind of face towards the Earth and uh, potentially pop off some uh, some uh, some flaring in our direction. All right, guys, have a good night. I'm gonna jump off here. Maybe take some. Uh, I don't know what. I need something. I've been taking vitamin C and uh, taking some uh, cold medicine, but man, I just cannot kick it. Have a good day, folks. Uh, stay safe out there. And uh, watch the west coast here with this activity kind of returning to the region there. Of course, that not showing up on the map because it's below the 2.5 threshold here. Uh, but uh, I've definitely seen it on the on the uh, USGS map. Also right there on the uh, seismograph station, picking that up as well. The Petrolia station. All right, guys. Have a good day. Good night. I'm gonna get my try to get my brain together and think straight because it's it's horrible being sick, let me tell you. Have a good night guys. We'll chat you later.